LPG game. What's happening? Thank you for tuning in. Take what resonates, leave the rest, take it how it resonates with you in your situation. If you need a personal reading, check the description box below of peacegenesis.com. If something in the reading resonates and you need more clarity, and my readings are outside your budget, check out Keen, five minutes for one dollar. Okay. Keen to get you right. Okay, so we have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And then we have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. And we have purpose here on the bottom, okay? So let's see what is going on. That's the overall energy collective. I feel like some of you guys may need to face a fear of yours. Um, it could be going after something. Yeah, it could be expanding, like really putting yourself out there. Yeah. Something you feel like you can't have. You definitely can. Seven of Cups here. Yeah, you may have lots of opportunities, something to choose from. Sometimes, uh, I feel like, too, some of you guys might procrastinate. Like, you're like a, a chronic procrastinator. A lot of times, procrastination comes from fear. Six of Cups, fear, self-doubt, second-guessing, Ace of Wands here on the bottom. Yeah. Um, for some of you, you need to, to address something. Maybe from your childhood regarding your fears around expansion, Knight of Swords. Some of you need to speak up of, uh, about something as well. Six of Pentacles here. Yeah. Wow. The Empress. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Emperor. Okay. So we have the, the Nine of Cups, the Emperor, the Tower, and the Eight of Swords. Well, well, well. Okay. So, um... I feel like collective, this could involve another person, but I'll hold off on that. I'll, I'll touch on this being about you first. And I feel like there is some self-care needed uh, for you, collective. I feel like you need to uh, do things that make you happy. You need to do things that make you fulfilled um, instead of doing what you think other people want you to do. And I feel like that could stem for, from something from your childhood, like something the way that you grew up. Um, some of you are like sitting on an idea, too. And now well, the reason why I say that is the Empress is sitting and the Nine of Cups is sitting. Um, some of you might be uh, expecting like a child in real life. Like you have you have a child in a way in real life. Uh, collective. We have the strength card. Mm hmm. We have the knight of wands. Mm hmm. Some of you are sad just because we have the temperance too. Two sad cards. Gemini's, Libra, Taurus, or Capricorn. The devil. Okay. And then we have the high priestess here on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Some of you, this is, is involving another person. Could be one of the signs I mentioned, or you are one of the signs I mentioned. I feel like there is, if you're in a connection or um, something new or you're interested in someone, there's a lot of fear surrounding that connection. And I feel like someone is like finally getting the courage to like boss up with you or to uh, open up or expand uh, or whatnot. Now, if this is your, um, if this is just you, it's like, Try not to be overbearing. Like some of you guys might be overbearing in a situation. Again, I'm not really sure if this is you or someone in your energy. There could be a mother figure here that's that's a little bit overbearing. I also get too that <laughs> someone feels like you, and I got this in a reading. I might, it may have been yesterday's read collective that someone may feel like you like did some some work on them. Um, or like some type of voodoo or something as well. It's just like you have the juice. Like you have this this aura about you. You have that it about you to where, you know, when you meet people, they get attached or, you know, they get overly attached or it's you. Like you're, you get overly attached um, to things or people or situations. It can also be like an overbearing like mother figure. For some of you, or you are that overbearing mother figure, okay? But 
the thing what i like about the devil though the devil isn't always like bad especially paired with the empress that's why i said some of you guys might be having a child um or it's just something uh you pulling from the the 3d into the 5d which i said in uh, a recent reading but the devil is basically just a physical manifestation of something that that's it so like when think about the lovers the lovers is the devil's opposite the devil's mirror the lovers is i'm, I'm going to say uh we're going to use conception of a child as an example the lovers is falling in love um you know the energy behind that child conception you know you connect y'all vibrating at a, at a similar frequency and you know blah 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 the devil is the actual child being born you know so it's like just a physical manifestation of um whatever it is in the five three uh, the five d if that makes sense so this could be literally you just creating something and you whatever you're creating being brought into the physical world it's like magic yes the queen of pentacles some of you are capricorns um the nine of pentacles it's like your your prosperity is like on the other side of what you fear it's like right over there the star yeah some of you have a fear of being seen you have a fear of recognition i'm seeing your confidence like uh needing a little bit of work okay eight of swords here mm -hmm. or it's someone in your energy there they need to boost their confidence king of wands i know we got something similar to this uh in another read yeah what is this come on seven of wands yeah oh my goodness the six of pentacles here on the bottom yeah i feel like this is this is someone that um, that really, really wants to be in your space, uh, collective. And this may be someone that lost access to you or someone you blocked out, excuse me, or someone that you're not, um, you don't want to be bothered with. And I feel like you may have created a boundary with, with someone or something, and they may be having a hard time with it to the, to the point where they may to start, they might start to get like a little bit more, um, there's that nine of cups again they may start to get like a little bit aggressive or they may start to get a little bit um assertive uh, collective the ten of wands wanted to flip over but he didn't flip over all the way uh, but yeah i feel like you know this is kind of a uh it's, it's a little bit of, of a aggressive energy but I don't feel like it's it's harming anything like I don't feel like it's just someone that wants to harm you but it is someone that wants you in their space like they want you uh in their life I get like a can't live without you kind of thing too from someone heavy Capricorn um I saw the high priestess too and I was shuffling whoa Ooh, collective now ace of wands now this could be you needing to tap into your creative spark uh imagination is here I'm, I'm gonna have to try to do this the best way that i can the justice here on the bottom uh without it being too graphic um some of you need to channel some of your sexual energy into your work into your projects okay if that's that's the energy that i get outside of it being another person especially with the purpose here also too um some of you need to pay attention to your sacral chakra when uh, making decisions because that might be where your answers are like listen to your your sacral chakra again i won't go too deep into this actually i'm gonna touch on this let me make a note of that because i'm gonna touch on this topic and post it on the patreon um why the, sac the sacral chakra is going to be uh good for you and how you can find out if that is what you need to do um, so I will make a note of that uh, here so y'all know okay now if this is a person because I am kind of seeing that I get like you know somebody's attraction to you is like crazy like really really crazy um, and I feel like you you have people thinking about or this particular person thinking about like having children and 
you know, the physical and all of that good stuff. But the Ace of Wands here crossing the devil with the Empress is an extremely creative energy, but it's also an extremely sexual energy too. So I feel like some of you guys need to utilize some of that energy um, and pour it into your uh, projects, okay? Pour it into your, um, what you're working on or whatever it is you're trying to manifest and bring into this life uh, collective. And I feel like you need to go for it. Some of you may do some type of work around that or what you want to do is very taboo. So think outside the box. There's something here involving you to kind of think outside the box, but it's also like you doing something uh, despite what other people say or what other people are, um, other people's opinions, because people are going to have their opinions uh, no matter what. So, you know, I feel like you may have a couple of like admirers too and some fans. It's just, you're just coming off as very uh, put together, magnetic. Um, it gives kind of siren vixen uh, kind of vibes. You know, you just come off very magical. And it's like the people that you come across are just addicted to you. And they don't even like understand why or know why. Um, collective. 11 11 when i looked over so that's confirmation also the justice card here uh is an 11 oh the emperor is behind there we saw the emperor earlier some of you this is a person like this is a person that is wanting to like um reignite something with you that has that has kind of gone out like a flame that has gone out they want to like reignite it okay but i would say be be careful with this type of energy um especially if you're gonna be physical with people intimate because it is going to be uh interesting <laughs> very 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 interesting okay i'm just gonna get a couple of these oh see oh baby I'm, mm, and i'm gonna get my uh hands out for that one <laughs> y'all y'all better be careful because um oh shoot look so we have the spilled milk here on the bottom. Yeah, this, for some of you, this is a person. Like, you know, um, you you could have blocked or you let go of that is going to be like kind of coming on strong, um, applying a lot of pressure uh, to, to make this pop and make this shake, okay? And it could be someone that is, again, you've been separated from. Could be a Gemini, but this is also a Gemini here on the bottom, the worry beads. Okay, this is worry. There's that fear again, fear, anxiety, irritated, calming, soothing, bored, passing time, upset, unease, needs care, fretful, ritual, repetitive motion, de-escalate, and nervous tick. So again, I feel like there is a lot of fear around whatever this is. And it could be, again, this, this a person on your mind. Um, lots of fears around uh, the, the relationship or the connection uh, with you. So... This one is hammock, again, Gemini, and this is rest, relax, time off, pause, suspend, sleep, support it, meditate, inactive, recovery, find relief, vacation, waiting, suspended between two things, in limbo, and self-actualization. And then we have very likely here. This flipped out, y'all, is crazy because this is what I was talking about, to be very, very, very careful. And then the very likely flips over. So be very, very careful out here, collective, um, if that is what you are doing, okay? Um, but again, some of you, if this has already happened, like this is already like going on now, and you might be at odds with the other parent. Um, but I feel like that will that will change. Okay, so we have Olive Branch here, which is Scorpio. And this one is Truce, Surrender, Giving In, Come to Turn, Suspend, Low, De-Escalate, Make Amends. I'm seeing De-Escalate. Yeah, De-Escalate is also on this card. So like I said, like making amends. Somebody wanted to make amends with you, but they may have been scared to like approach and I feel like they go from being afraid to like really, really coming on strong. And I mean like really strong. Um, peace offering, winding down, halt, reprieve, ceasefire, treaty, agree to disagree. All right, collective. Thank you for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Peace out.